Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today we're going to play a solo playthrough of La Granja, No Siesta. This is uh, published by Stronghold Games. If you're watching this when I am just putting this out, I am very likely on the top of a mountain climbing with my family. <laughs> um, so if you put any notes, if I miss something or you put a comment out and I don't respond right away, that's why. Sorry, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to be out for two weeks, but I'll be back. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. It's a nice, quick solo game. I actually haven't played La Granja yet. I have the base game, um, but I haven't tried it. I tried this one first, and I actually really, really like it. It's, it's simple, it's quick, and it's fun. So I hope you guys are excited for this. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to do setup and playthrough in one video for this because it's really quick, so we're just going to jump right in. Here we have the setup for La Granja for a solo game. So the first thing you want to do is you'll make sure that you are using the player one side of these two boards, the siesta board and this market board here. Okay. Then what you want to do is you'll set up, this is a right and play. So as you gain goods, you're going to be writing them on your board here and getting different victory points. So this is a beat your own score game, but there is an AI that does do a little bit of prevention for you, which is why it's kind of fun. It, it, it creates a little bit of tension in the game, yet you're still just trying to beat your own score. So it, it is, you're just trying to get the most victory points. So I'm going to be the blue color and I start out with four of these discs here. I have all of these helpers available to me that as I fill up this track here, I can place them on my mat and then I gain their benefits. And we'll talk about that as we go through the, the actual playthrough. Up here, we can, if we fill these areas, we get additional roof tiles, which are over here. And those roof tiles have benefits on the opposite side that we get. It, usually it's a one-time use benefit or maybe it's just additional victory points. The game ends in one of two ways. Either when one of us, so either the, uh, the AI or you yourself, get to the end of the siesta track, that's going to be the last round. Or there are 18 rounds here because there's 18 different roof tiles right here. After all 18 roof tiles have been moved over to the side over here, that means we have done all of the max amount of rounds that we can do. So we either will play 18 rounds or we'll play until one of us gets to the top of the siesta track. So what we need to do for the AI is we need to roll a die. So we're going to roll one of these dice and we get a hat. So the hat's going to tell us where they're going to take a spot on this market board because this market board is different ways we can get victory points. See, if we place one of our discs here, we get one victory point for every disc that we have in our supply. Or if we go down here, we get one victory point for every helper that we uh, have on our board here. So we're going to be trying to put discs on here, and already the AI has blocked one for us. When they get to certain areas on the siesta track, they will take more spots on this as well. Now, the second thing we do is we have to roll another die, and we got a grape. A grape means, according to the rules, that they are going to take the five victory point spot on the top cart. So what that means is, down here, we can bring a certain amount of goods to the marketplace, and if we do, we get to get five, seven, or nine victory points. But if we're not the first one to do it, we get three, five, or seven victory points. And so what this is saying is that the AI has already taken the five victory points on the first one here. So if we complete this track, we're only going to get three victory points instead of five. But we'll still get seven or nine here. And then the same thing is when the, when the AI gets to this spot, they're going to take the next one. And if they're the first ones to finish this track before us, they'll take the seven victory point spot. Now, we're not going to be competing against the AI. It's just going to take that so we can get less, we'll get less uh, victory points. So we've got the AI set up. We have our uh, discs ready. We've got our three in supply here that we can get. We can potentially get those whenever we pass these certain spots on the siesta track. So now what we're going to do, we have a total of seven dice. All of these dice are identical, okay? Um, so I'm just going to grab a random five of them. And we'll start off the round by removing one of these roofs and putting them here. And like I said, once these roofs are out, then we are done, and uh, that's how the game ends. Unless one of us gets to the end of the siesta track before that, it'll end at that point. So now we'll roll all five of these dice. Okay. Now what we get to do is we get to choose one of these dice, 
and we get to place that good on our goods um, place right here. So for an example, I can take this coin, and if I do that, I'd place a disc here. If I took one of these and I did not have enough discs to put onto my board, then I can't get that good. So you gotta watch how many discs you have. Then what I have to do is I have to give one to the AI. Now, right now, it doesn't really matter what I give them. So let me, let me just give them this one. Cool, okay, then what I'm gonna do, so I took this one and they took that one. Now I have three dice left. I'm gonna shake them up and roll them again. Okay, now of these three, I get to pick one and the AI gets to pick one. So I'll give the AI this one again, and I think I'm gonna grab one of these. So I get both an olive and grain. And then we'll just roll this die, and we get whatever's there. Okay, we get a donkey. Perfect. So I'll place that there. Now what happens is, we look to see, did we give the AI a hat? We did not give them a hat. So because of that, the AI automatically moves one up the CS to track, which isn't good. <laughs> but I didn't roll any hats, so there wasn't anything I could do. Now we go to the scoring part of the turn, where we get to use these and place them on our board here. Since I rolled a coin and a grain and an olive, I can check off a coin, a grain, and an olive right here. Okay, so I'll take those three off, coin, grain, and olive. And now I've completed this area and I can place one of my helpers. The first one I always like to get is this one. So first of all, that's gonna give me one victory point. See that, that means I get one victory point. And now one time around, I can move one of my discs to an adjacent spot that has arrows. So any of these spots that have arrows, I can move one of my discs. So let's say I had one here. I could move it to be a grain instead of an olive. Really nice. Uh, I can't do that for hats or for commodities. And I'll show you what those are when they, when they come up. <laughs> I still have a donkey left. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that donkey right here. I'm going to fill this one in. And that's going to end the first round. Okay. Now what we do is these two dice that are here, they go up to the top area over here. And yeah, it's really close to the edge of the screen. Sorry. If when I roll the next, so for the next turn, I'm going to roll five dice. So I put those two dice to the side. Now I've got these five dice. When I roll these five dice, if I personally draft any dice that have the olive or grain, then the AI automatically gets to move up one hat. So it prevents us from potentially getting those specific goods unless we're okay with them moving up on the siesta track. Why the siesta track is important is two reasons. One, we don't want the AI to uh, finish the game too early, right? But two is if when we finish, the AI is ahead of us, we lose victory points equal to the difference between the two of us. So if the AI was four ahead of me, I would lose minus four victory points. But if I actually do finish the track before the AI, I get victory points for the difference between where I am and where the AI is. So that's one way to get a lot of victory points if you can play it right. But it's hard. I mean, a little bit of it's luck. I didn't roll any hats, so there wasn't anything I can do there. But, okay, let's start round two. So round two, we'll take off a roof, shake up these dice, give them a roll. Okay, we have a hat. I'm definitely gonna give that to him because that means he won't go up on the um, siesta track this round. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a grape. I'll grab a grape, put that right here. Okay, then we take our three dice here and we re-roll them. Ooh, now we could take this and I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take one of the hats and we'll place this here. Now, we don't have to have him move up on the, on the track, on the siesta track, because up here he doesn't have a hat. Next round, he'll have a hat up here. And so if we had taken this hat, he would move up just like we were moving up. So that's why I wanted to take this one. And we'll definitely give him an olive and a grain. Now, we get to roll the third die and whatever it is we get. Now, you see this is the same as what we have up here. There are two different ways you can play it. The normal way to play it is you don't have to increase them on the on the siesta track, and that's how I'm going to play it. I think if you want to play it harder, you can say that he would move up on the track, but what's hard about that is it's kind of random, right? I had no control over that. I have to take that good for that when that final roll is. So that's why I'm going to play that way. So, awesome. Now, here's the thing. I could, if I wanted, move one of these. I could maybe get two grain if I wanted or two olives. 
There is over here this shipping. If we can get three of one specific good in one round, we get two victory points and gain a commodity. And a commodity can be one of any good except for the hats. So we get to store it and we can store it for multiple rounds, but then we can go and use that hat for a coin or we can use it for a pig or whatever. So it's really nice to get that commodity. I can only move one though, one space. So I can't make three of any kind. So I think I'm just going to leave them as is. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my grape so that I can get this grape. And now I can get another helper. And I think the helper I'm going to grab. Oh, which one do I want to get? I'm going to get this one right now. This is a good one. This one says that we don't need to worry about having donkeys to complete our cart. So normally you have to have donkeys to complete the cart. Now we don't because we have our helper is going to help us with that instead. And I think with these two, we're just going to take them and put them over here in storage. Now over here, if ever we get all three goods over here, we get one victory point per, per row so or column. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I can potentially get six victory points here if I filled this whole track up, but I have to fill it up with all three goods. So I, I kind of want to go over here and start filling my cart, but the cart, you see how there's this arrow? You have to do it in order. So I can't just start filling my cart with uh, a grape over here. I'd have to start, if I was doing this one, the olive first, and then the grain, then a grape, you know. And so this one's only worth three victory points. This is worth seven, and that's worth nine. But I needed either pigs or grapes. So, yeah, I kind of missed out on that one. I do, though, have a hat, so I'll move up one on the siesta track. Now, if I get one more space on the siesta track, I get another one of my discs, which is nice. I don't think I told you guys how you get discs up here in a market in the marketplace is by fulfilling these carts. When you fulfill a cart, you get a commodity, but you also send one of your discs from your supply onto here. And that's another way to gain victory points. So now we check. OK, he doesn't need to go up. He doesn't go up on the um, on the siesta track because we gave him a hat. So now these move up to here. We grab our five dice. We take off another roof, shake them up. And it's the next round. Okay, we have a hat. Definitely going to give him a hat. I think we're going to take a pig. And we'll place that right here. Okay, then we grab our three dice. Reroll them. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely taking a coin. Put this here. Coin is there. And then we'll just reroll this one. And we get a grape. Nice. Okay. So I think I'm going to use one of my helper's abilities to move this over here. That gets me two coins. Two coins lets me fill up this area of my first roof. Now, where do I grab my roof from? Well, this area over here is where you'll always grab from. So if there aren't any roofs there, you can't grab a roof, just so you know. <laughs> but every time he's going to be placing another roof there. So we'll grab this one and we'll flip it over. Okay, it's worth one donkey. Not great. It's probably one of the my least favorite types, but that's okay. It's still a donkey and we can use it any time. We can flip it over and then fill a donkey spot anywhere on our board. We do have a pig left, so we'll use the pig and I'm going to start filling up this track. I want to get that nine victory points if I can. Okay, let me check here. He doesn't move up. We move this up here. We grab our five dice. You can see it. This goes really, really quick. And we grab our next roof and then we roll our five dice. Okay. We have another hat. I'm going to keep giving him hats right now. I don't want him to move up. Not until I figure out a way that I can start moving up. Now, if I take any one of these, he's going to move up. So I'll definitely do a coin. Come on. Give me something better. Ooh. I'm going to give him the donkey because I don't really want donkeys right now. I'm going to grab the coin again. Okay. So now I've got two coins. Now, if I can get a third one, I could, ship a, I could do a, a shipping and... Uh, Send that over and get a commodity, which, commodity, which would be nice. No, nope, instead I got a donkey, which I didn't want. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay because I can move it to become a pig, which is perfect. That's what I'd like anyways. So I'm going to use a pig. That's going to fill up this spot. Nice. And then two coins is perfect for another roof. Okay, so I'll just fill that in. And then we'll grab this roof. And ooh, so what this means is we can either move one disc, two spaces, one, two, 
or two different disks, one space. Like that, something like that, okay? That is nice, I like it. We check here, he still doesn't move. We'll flip this over, we've got our four and our one, here's our five dice, and we'll start the next round. Grab our dice here, give him a shake, roll him up, oh yeah, okay. Let's give him a hat again. What do we want? What we want is a hat now. We need a hat for here, but I gotta make a hat a different way. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a coin again. I love my coins. And I'm gonna grab these three, give them a re-roll. Oh yeah, definitely a coin. Ooh, this, this could be good, this could be good. We'll give him the olive and the grain. And then, oh, look at that. So it's a hat. We get a hat and he doesn't move up the track. Nice. So what we're definitely gonna do is use that hat up and we're gonna use it here instead of moving up the siesta track because I really want my nine victory points. I mean, nine victory points if we fill this up. <laughs> and then, yeah, 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 because then I can move this over and use that as a pig. Oh yeah, fill that boy up. And then because I did that, I can use the coin that does that one right here. Now, if you look here, one, two, three, we just need three more and we've got ourselves nine victory points. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, check. No, oops, oh darn it, what was that? That was a, it was it was a hat and a, oh, it was the, um, these two, right? I think it was these two. If it was not, I'm sorry. I think it was these two. So put that up there, but it's because he had a hat, he doesn't go up on the siesta track. And we will take another roof off, shake up our five dice, give him a roll. Yes, we have a hat. See, it's really nice when you keep getting hats that you can give them. <laughs> okay, we definitely want a pig because we're getting close to finishing that one track, which would be really nice. Now I'm looking for a hat again. Ooh, might have to find a different way to get a hat. Well, I'll take a coin. Perfect, and then I'll give him the olive and the grain. And we get a donkey. Ugh, donkeys. Donkeys are my least favorite. <laughs> well, you know what we could do? We can use our helper here to move one over there and then use this to have this move two spaces over. We now have three coins. Because we have three coins, we can do a shipping contract. And that's going to be worth two victory points. And we gain a commodity. So we place a disc right here to show that we have a commodity. Now that commodity can be anything except for hats. And I think I'm going to hold on to it for right now. Because I can hold on to it. The only bad part about holding on to it is I only have three discs now. But I think it's better to hold on to it than trying to give it up. So, yep. Yeah, uh, we look here. Doesn't move because we have a hat. We'll move those up. We'll grab our five dice. Take another one off. And yeah, I don't even know what round we're at, but we're almost halfway already. <laughs> Roll them up. Oh yes, there's a hat. Nice. And we're definitely taking a coin. I love my coins. I love it. When you get to fill the roof track, it's really nice. So I'm hoping to maybe do that and then maybe get extra victory points for that as well if I can. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, there's hats galore. Uh, I don't want a donkey. Oh, but I can make it into a roof. Uh, not a roof, um, a pig. So that's okay. I'll do it that way. And then roll one more. Come on. Ooh. Oh, see, now look. I only have one disc. Darn it. I think I'm going to make that a grain. But if I had another disc, I could have put out another one. But since I, I oh, man, I didn't, I only could put out one disc. So I had to choose between the two goods. Oh, that's a bummer. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this over to a pig. And I'm going to use the pig and the grain. But instead of using that over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this uh, helper's area, pig and a grain. And then what I'm going to grab is this helper. Now, this helper lets us use commodities as hats. So I'm going to use that as a hat. Oh, nuggets, not yet. I can't do that. Since I used the pig, instead of using the pig here, I was going to use the hat. But I can do that next time after I get a pig. Okay. And then I have a coin, and the coin's a no-brainer. I want to fill this roof track if I can. So let's fill that up. There we go. Okay. 
definitely has hats, right? So he's not going to move. We'll grab our five dice. Move this right over here. And let's give him a shake. Oh, perfect. There's a hat. We're definitely taking a call. Oh, there's a pig. Let's do a pig instead. Because we need a pig. Then we've got the hat. And then if we can get a coin, oh, that would be glorious. We would have nine victory points. Okay. Definitely giving him the hat. That's a bummer. We're going to have to take a donkey, which I don't really want. And then... Oh, look at that. It's a hat. Okay. Put the hat there. Oh, that means we don't have to use... Okay. So we'll use this hat. Oh, and this one for the pig and the hat right here. Pig and a hat. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to use this commodity as a hat, but I'm going to move myself up this way. And you see now I am at a spot where I immediately get another disc. Now I'm doing that because when you finish this track, I was telling you, you get to put one of your discs on here, but that disc comes from your supply. And so if I had taken a disc off of there, I'd only have three discs left. So now <laughs> I'm going to have enough discs so I don't have any problems there, which is good. Um, I still have a donkey left. I didn't move anything yet. Do I want a donkey? Is the pig any better? We have no pig needs. We don't need any donkeys here. I think I'm going to move it over. Eh. Let's just use it as a donkey down here in our stable. Because then... If we fill that up a little bit, we can get some victory points. Okay, definitely no moving up the AI, which is nice. We place another roof for the next round. Let's grab our dice and give them a roll. Oh yes, a hat and 100% a coin. That's not even a question. Okay, give them a roll. Oh, a donkey, donkey, pig. Definitely a pig. I like my pigs better than a donkey. Plus, I can turn a pig into a coin, you know. And then our third one. Ooh, a grape. Okay, our grape we're going to use here because that's going to get us at least one victory point. Ah, You know, I've sometimes done check marks and sometimes filled them in. I was going to fill them in for you guys so it's easier to see. And I forgot to do that over here. But so this now is one victory point. So that's why I did that. The coin we're definitely doing here. And that means we got the nine victory points. We get to place one of these discs up here, and we get victory points equal to whatever it is that we want. And I think what I'm going to do, am I thinking I'm going to get through the roofs? I do have three helpers. Let's do the helpers first. So I'm going to get a minimum of three victory points because I have these helpers here. That's really nice. And the nine victory points and... I get a commodity, which I'm immediately going to use to move up the siesta track. Then I've got a pig left. I'm going to move it over to make it a coin. And I'm going to fill this up because I really want coins. Great. Okay. We look to see here. AI still doesn't move. Awesome. Grab our five dice. Move this bad boy over here. And let's give him a roll. So my pinky is doing a ton better, but I'm still... <laughs> It's a little hard to pick up all those dice. Oh, that's what I missed. Okay. Oh, wow. I love all the hats. And definitely a coin. <laughs> I'm all about money. Can you tell I'm an accountant? No. <laughs> all right. There's one. And wow. Another hat. Do I want the hat just to move up the siesta track? Mm, no, I think I'll take. I think I'll take the green and the olive and then let's see finally another green and olive. i don't have enough oh boy oh perfect let's make that a grain so then what i can do is for my one move over because of my helper i'll move it over to being a grape and i will use all three of those just to give me another victory point i'll fill this right on up okay and then I have a coin, and that's going to get us two victory points right here. And the roof benefit we have is one olive. Yeah, I'm not getting good um, roof benefits. Sometimes they're victory points. Sometimes they're a commodity. Yeah, okay. Bummer. That's all right. Move those. Grab these. 
The AI still doesn't move, so we don't have to worry. Come on, keep rolling me hats. Okay, no hats there. I think I'm gonna grab a donkey, and you'll see why. If it works out the way I want it to. Okay, now I'm really hoping I roll a hat in one of these three so I can give it to the AI. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> yes! I got a hat. That is nice. Okay, I think we're gonna do a pig. This is gonna, this means I gotta get kind of lucky here. Oops. Come on, donkey! Whoa. No, it's a pig. That actually will work. We'll place the pig here. We will do our one move, so we have three pigs. That is going to give us another one of these shipping two victory points for three pigs. And I'll take that off. And then we get a commodity, which I'll place right here. Now, do I want to use it? Oh, what do I want to use it for? Do I want to hold on to it? I'm going to hold on to it for one round. Okay. AI still doesn't move. Grab our five dice. Remove the roof. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. You might not be able to see these. Very... I hope you've been able to see those. Sorry. Okay, roll it. Oh, we have no hat. We're definitely going to take the coin. Place that there. We'll give him the grape. And then let's roll again. Oh, yes, a hat. We'll give him a hat. And we'll take a grape. Put that there. And then, come on, be something that I want. Oh, that is nice. That'll work. So I think I'm going to move this over here and use that as two coins. And this is a third coin. And we're going to fill up this roof spot with three coins. And that's going to give us this benefit, which is a hat, which we'll immediately use to move one up the siesta track. And then we have a hat left here, so we'll move up the siesta track again. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. I should have done the roof one. So I'm really hoping I got to fill this up so I can get the roof benefit one because I think there's a chance that we can maybe finish this then. Okay. So um, still has a hat. I'm going to put this guy here. You guys can see that. Yeah, sorry about before. I, I feel bad if you guys couldn't see it before. Grab another roof. Draw the five. Give him a shake. Okay. Coin. <laughs> yeah, let's grab a coin. And let's give him a donkey. And I have that donkey. And I, okay. Oh, it means that he's going to start moving up the track. But that's okay. I'll definitely do this. And I'll grab another coin. It's going to give us a second one. And then we get, of course, a donkey. Which is not what I want. Two coins, let's just take it as the two, right here and right here. Come on, that's three victory points if we can fill that. We have a donkey, I'm going to move over as a pig. So we're going to fill this up as a pig, so that's one victory point down here in our stable. He is going to move one up on the uh, track here. Now remember, if even if we're ahead of him at the end of the game... If we don't get to the end of the track, we don't we don't get any points for the difference. So I'm not really thinking I'm going to get points there. I'm I'm more just wanting to stay ahead of them so I don't lose victory points there. All right, we'll roll. Oh man, still no hats. Definitely the coin. I'm kind of looking at doing this and then hoping that somehow I can find a way to do this because then if I could do this one and this one and get the victory point per roof, that is going to be nice. So let's give him the olive and the grain. Give these a roll. Ah, oh, he's going to go up again. I'm going to grab another coin. And he'll grab a grape. Come on, be something I need. What is it with donkeys? Okay. So two coins. That's going to work for here. Nice. And we get, come on. Oh, oh, we can move that over by two if we wanted. I really don't want another donkey, so it's probably a waste. I'm going to move it over here, make it a coin. Let's fill this up. It's better than a blasted donkey. And the AI gets to move up one because there's no hats there. Jeez, catching up. Okay, roof, move over here. Whoa, we only have 
one, two, three more rounds after this. Yeah, you can see it goes really quick. It's a great quick solo game. <gasps> There's a hat. Now we could take the hat. Eh, I don't really want the hat. Like I said, I'm not trying to get through that. Oh, the coin. Uh, problem is if I keep going for this, am I going to have enough time to fill this entire track? I don't know, but I think it's worth grabbing the coin because if we can at least fill so that's three victory points if nothing else. Oh, yeah. We'll take a coin. We'll give him the grape. Come on, a coin. A donkey. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Two coins is going to get us one away from this one. And then the donkey. What am I going to do with a donkey? I'm just going to put the donkey down here. That way. Oh, you know what? I'm going to move the donkey over to the pig and use it as a pig and then use this guy as our donkey so we can get another victory point. So at least we filled both of these. So we've got four victory points down there. That's not terrible. Okay, he doesn't move this time. Move this over here. Take the roof off. Grab these. Give him a roll. Well, I'm definitely giving him a donkey because I don't want a donkey. I'm going to take a grape because I can always turn a grape into a coin. Okay. And then let's see. But I kind of want grapes too. Oh. Well, I guess I'm going to take this and give him the donkey again. That's going to go here and here. Come on, coin. Oh, man. And I can only take one of them. I think I'm going to place it right here. Now, I've got two options, but I, th I think this is what I'm going to do. I could move one of these to here and do a two victory point move and get a commodity. Oh, but a commodity could be one of anything. And that could give me my coin. You know what? I think I am going to do that. I think I'm going to move this olive over to here. So I have three grain. I'm going to give up three grain, and that's going to get me two victory points. And it's going to give me a commodity, which I'm immediately going to use as a coin to fill this up. And then, come on, be something good. Be something good. <gasps> it's a commodity. That's awesome. So then I'm going to use this grape down here. So i got to finish this track. That's going to be my goal now. My major goal is going to be to finishing this track. So now with that commodity, I can wait and use it hopefully next round. I only have two more rounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, no hat, so AI is going to move up. And then I'm going to grab these two, put them here. Two rounds left. What I'm really looking for are what? Um, olives, coins, a hat. I can grab a hat now if I needed to. All right, let's see. Yeah, definitely not pigs or donkeys, which is all I seem to be rolling right now. And I don't even need a, well, I do need a coin. So I'll grab a pig because I can turn a pig into a coin. And I'll give them a donkey because I really don't need donkeys. Okay, come on. Shake these guys up. Let's roll them. Okay, a hat. I could take a hat. Wait, let me think about this for a second. I think I'm going to give him the hat. I'm going to keep him behind me, and I'm going to use this as an olive and a grain. Okay. Then I'm going to roll, and I got a freaking donkey. Oh, man. Okay. Gosh, seriously, it's like this game wanted me to go for donkeys, I apparently. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy one over, and then I'm going to use it as my grape. And then I've got one olive here, and I've got my second olive here. I don't have my coin, though, because I already did my one move. I've got... This, that could be a coin, but that could also be the move. I think i got to save that for next time. I've got a donkey and a pig, so I, let's just get another victory point for a donkey and a pig, huh? One more victory point. whoop de doo <laughs> Okay, I have one more round. The AI did not move there. This is the final round, and we have to get four goods. Oh, man, this is going gonna, gonna to be stretching it. Come on, I need luck. Okay, what do I need? I need a hat, which I'm going to get from this. So I definitely need a coin. So grab the coin, put that here. 
I don't even care what I give him because even if he's tied with me, I don't lose victory points. I don't get any, but I don't lose any. Okay, come on. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something with grain. Yes. Okay. Grain and an olive. Give him the hat. And that's coming down to this roll. Oh, it's a hat. Oh, that might actually work. That might actually work. Okay. We'll use the coin as a coin. Go here. Then we'll use our hat here. I can't believe this. Then we'll use our grain here. And then we'll use this commodity right here as a grain. And that means we got seven victory points and we get another commodity. Okay. And we get to place one of these up here and I'm definitely doing the roof one. And looking at this, I think that's all she wrote. I mean, I could get an olive and one of anything but that's not going to get me victory points anywhere. Nothing that I see here. No. Okay. So I think that's all she wrote for us. That's the end of the game. We would check here. AI doesn't move. So the AI is not ahead of us. We don't get any points for this track, but we also don't lose any points. So that's nice. So let's go to scoring. Okay. To start out with, we look at our roofs. So we've got one victory point, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve victory points. Nice. Then we go to helpers. We only got one victory point for helpers because you see these two that we filled out don't have victory points at the bottom, only this one. So only one. For our long distance trade, we got three of those times two is six. For our warehouse and stable, we got one, two, three, four, five victory points. For our market borrow, that's over here, we got 9 plus 7 is 16 victory points. Yeah. For our siesta track, we got 0. And then for inside of the market, we got 1 victory point per helper, 1, 2, 3, and then 1 victory point per roof. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got a total of 9. So if I add all those together, that's 49 points. We scored in the 41 to 50. You have the potential to be a farmer. <laughs> One, two away from getting over to it. You can make a living as a farmer in whatever that place is, Majorca or something like that. But still, not bad. I mean, I've definitely gotten better. I think my best score is 54. But still, 49, I'm happy with it. But that, my folks, is La Granja No Siesta, the dice game. A really great, just quick, fun, simple solo you can do it. I was just on a business trip and I played this nine times. It was perfect. You know, I had about 30 minutes back in my hotel or right before going to bed or whatever. It was just, it was really nice. Small box, easy to bring around. I highly recommend it for a solo game. Thanks so much for watching.